Hey, hi everyone. Howdy. So this is going to be the last video from this round of questions that we had. Uh oh. So we put out the uh, request for questions, gosh, a while back, and we got so many that we've been answering them over time. So we, um, this last batch is all cruise-related questions too. If you're wondering where these questions coming from, it's Facebook. So if you're not following us on Facebook, go follow us on Facebook. We have a Facebook group called EECC Travels Community. Be sure and join that group too. And that way, next time we do a Q&A, that's where we're going to ask our questions. All right, here we go. Jason's up first. So the first question is from Mary Varner. What is a do not miss or see on the Norwegian breakaway? Um... For me, I'm going to say Rock of Ages. That show is awesome. Yes, and I'm <laughs> going to say SIDS. Oh, yeah. We absolutely love SIDS, too. Yeah. But Rock the Rock Poor the House. Rock the Poor House, not... Rock the Poor House. What was the rock other one the called, though? House. The Tenors of Rock, not what? the Tenors of Rock. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I'm not even going there. <laughs> Y'all, if y'all seen the video, you'll know what I'm talking Jason's about. Jason's very There's upset. one band the that's rock. good. Rock the Poor House is yeah. awesome. The house band is awesome. The house band is awesome. Not the tenors of crap. <laughs> anyway, sorry. All right. Uh, no, it's my turn. Oh, yeah. Okay, so my, my first question is from Ashley Hayes. When and where was the first cruise you took? So the first cruise we took was on the Carnival Triumph. Out of Galveston. Five day. And it was a five day, and that was in 2014, I think. Don't give me that. I think oh, it was wow. 2014. So we, um, that was our first cruise. We'd actually been talking about it for a couple of years, but somebody was a little afraid to cruise. Yep, that was me. Guilty as charged. I know y'all, some of y'all can't believe it, but it's true. <laughs> um, we had been told to take some cruises. We should uh, we should try cruises. And I said, man, I've seen Titanic way too many <laughs> times. And every time uh, somebody would say, y'all go cruising, I kept having this flashback of that scene in Titanic where everybody's like splashing in the water, you know? And I'm like, eh, probably not a good idea. You know, a little too vulnerable. But since then, my mind has changed. I'm uh -huh. looking. I can't get enough of them. No. So, yeah. so if anybody <laughs> out there has that similar kind of fear man trust me go just You'll, get out there and do it just get out there and do it yeah i think we were hooked about what five minutes onto that first cruise oh man it was fast I think the second yeah i think the second uh we walked on board i was immediately hooked but yeah that was our first cruise and you yeah. never forget your first never looked back since then yeah and i remember that ship seemed so big and it is but it, was, but it was small on the fleet compared yeah, to some of them now. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Okay, next question is from Matt Newton. Have you ever tried to copycat a favorite food from one of your cruises? Um, no. No, we've talked about trying to recreate the guy's burgers, but haven't actually done it yet. We have, not on the cruises, but we had uh, copycatted uh, the 5A Club Juicy Lucy from yep. Minnesota. From our trip to Minnesota, yeah. yeah. And uh, that was interesting, and I think we nailed it. Yeah, we did good pulled, on that. Pulled it off. It was really cool. For those of you that don't know what a Juicy Lucy is, it's basically two hamburger patties with stuffed with cheese. But it's the way you cook it and the way you season it and mm -hmm. all that stuff. We did do that. Yeah. Uh, and it was awesome. It was good. We still make those every now and then. But, yeah. But we, one day, we need to do that. We That's a great idea. That. And we uh, haven't really thought about it, but um, thanks for the, uh, the idea. We may do that. Cool. Oh, I know you could totally nail it if you tried. Oh. He can go on anything. <laughs> okay, my next question is from Javal, and I'm going to spell the last name because I'm not going to butcher it. R A E K W O N. It's rep one. That's easy. Okay, what he said. Um, I do not drink, but heavily. Hold on. I do not drink, but heavily. So I'm not sure if I'll max out on the Cheers program. I only drink heavily, too. <laughs> Do all the other non-alcoholic beverages available on Cheers make it worth the purchase? Okay. So, we're split on this. Jason gets Cheers and I don't. How we do that is we book him and kids in one cabin and me and kids in the other cabin. So, that way he can purchase Cheers, which is definitely worth it We got him. the bachelor pad. 
Yeah. Him and some teenage boys. <laughs> they don't. We don't give the teenage boys no, the no, drinks. No. <laughs> that no. didn't sound right. Boys do not get any alcohol until they're legal age. Let's put that out there. Yeah. First and foremost. Um. But so it, it's going to be a person by person basis. There is a lot included in Cheers. So you get unlimited sodas, unlimited bottled water, unlimited smoothies, and specialty coffees. I know you always like to go get your specialty coffee. So Cheers is a lot more than just the alcohol. So you just have to kind of do the math for you and see if if you normally drink the bottled water, if you normally like the specialty coffees, add up what you think you're gonna drink per day. And if, if it averages about to $50 a day, then go for Cheers. On a cruise ship, I mean, let's, let's call a spade a spade. The atmosphere is uh, conducive to drinking because you walk out on the ship and it can be very early morning and you see regular old folk having Bloody Marys at 9 a.m. And when you when you kick it off like that, most people tend to keep it going all day. So, but anyway. Just keep in mind that you will be capped out at 15 drinks a day. So pace yourself. Your question. All right, next question is from Leanne King. Have you ever thought about cruising on Royal Caribbean? And to answer your question, absolutely 100% yes. We just uh, we just haven't yet um, yeah. because of the port. Uh, well, it just hasn't worked out. Like when yeah, it, it just hadn't worked out. Like this year when we were looking at our spring break cruise, we we kind of let the boys make the decision. We're like, look, we can cruise on the Vista or we can cruise on Liberty of the Seas, both out of Galveston, both you know great cruise ships, yeah. and we let them choose and they chose the Vista. So that's kind of uh, why we have, I mean, it was really a toss up between those two and we let the boys make the decision. So next spring break, we've kind of hit all the carnival ships already. Next spring break will either be Liberty of the Seas on Royal Caribbean or the Norwegian Getaway. We so. like to try different ships mm -hmm. and different cruise lines and we will get to it. Absolutely. Yeah. No doubt about it. And uh, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. And we heard a rumor that Royal Caribbean is building a new terminal in Galveston mm -hmm. that can handle an Oasis class ship. So that's cool. Pretty awesome. I hope that rumor is true. Very, very awesome. <laughs> Everything is awesome. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Okay, next question is from Nate Butler. Travel insurance, what should you look for? Okay, first off, let me say there's two ways you can buy travel insurance. You can get the travel insurance that's tacked onto your cruise through the cruise line, or you can buy it through an outside company. I always recommend buying it through an outside company for two reasons. Number one, it's gonna be less expensive, usually. And number two, you can cover more than just your cruise. So if you buy the insurance through Carnival or Royal Caribbean or Norwegian, it's gonna cover your cruise. If you can't make it on the cruise, you've got coverage. But what if you flew in? It's not gonna cover your flights. What if you had to prepay for a hotel uh, because you flew in and needed a hotel the night before? It's not gonna cover that either. So I recommend finding a company through a third party. Um, there's a lot of good ones out there. I personally, for all of my travel agent clients, I use um, Travel Insured, um, but Al Allianz is good. Uh, Chubb has a good product. There's some websites that'll do searching for you, but I definitely recommend looking at travel insurance. It's something that we, we've saw, we saw people airlifted off of the breakaway. Stuff happens. Yeah. All the time, out of our control. Yeah. So totally recommend it. Yeah, because travel insurance will do two things. It will reimburse you if you have to cancel your cruise for covered reasons, and it provides medical insurance for outside the country. So good kind thing of a to no-brainer. Have. Good thing to have. Yeah. All righty. Next question is from Penny Parker Bess. We have been watching your videos and love them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, are y'all from Louisiana? Yes, yes, we are from Alexandria, right in the center of the state. Sinla. Sinla. Um, are y'all going on the dream for spring break this year? No, we are not. No, we're going on the Vista this year for spring break. Yep. We took the kids last year and are booked again this year. Do you prefer Carnival RC better? 
as a cruise line? Do you prefer Carnival or Royal Caribbean? Well, we haven't uh, cruised Royal Caribbean, so we can't say yet, but we love Carnival for sure. Yeah, we absolutely love Carnival. Um, our spring break cruises have always been on Carnival. Um, since we have cruised the Dream before, we decided to try a different ship this year, but the Dream is a lot of fun, so we're, you'll have fun again. You know, we're, we're really not cruise snobs because we, we just like cruising. Mm. We like all the experiences. Like we said before, they're all like our children. We love yeah. them for different reasons. <laughs> right. You know? Um, and um, I'm pretty sure we won't, I'm pretty sure we'll like uh, Royal Caribbean too. So, but anyway, hopefully uh, we'll find out soon. I know, we gotta get us on a Royal ship. Yeah. Okay, next question is from Alex Nolan. How has becoming a travel agent helped further your existing knowledge of cruising? Do you feel better cool. prepared now for trips than before? Absolutely. The training alone, I had, I've had i done extensive training through Carnival, extensive training with Royal Caribbean, extensive training through uh, Norwegian and Disney Cruise Line. Those are just the ones I've started with. I will do the rest. I just haven't branched out to those just yet. Oh man, you learn so much when you do those trainings. She Things works all the time, guys. Know. She works all the time. Sometimes she get, uh, you know, she's got a full time day job. She comes home at lunch sometimes and 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 books cruises and <laughs> and uh, then she comes home at dinner time and and I'll have dinner cooked and everything like that and then she'll uh, she'll go right to the office and start uh, pounding it out and helping everybody as fast as she can. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you her desk here in a second. It's pretty cool. She's got a whole new Starship Enterprise over there. It looks like she's, you know, piloting the mothership. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, I have gained a lot of knowledge. And because you learn in doing these trainings, you learn not only about the ships, but what each cruise line offers, about their private um, islands and destinations. So, yeah, I'm definitely better prepared for cruising than I was before. No doubt about it. All righty. Next question is uh, from Jaden Brown. What's the best adventure you and your family have ever gone on? Holy smokes! Wow, those are always tough. I like the uh, like the cave tubing. That's what I was going to say. And the, that's exactly what I was going to uh, say. Zip lining in Belize. Yep. You know, that was the most adventurous kind yep. of thing we do. Usually, we uh, we we have all kind of. Mm -hmm. um, we go to a lot of places, but we just kind of chill and randomly yeah, walk around and, and are very spontaneous. But this was, you know, a, a guided adventure mm -hmm. and it was really cool. So I, I'm going to have to go with that for now. That's what I was thinking too. So I, I totally second him. That was, that was a very awesome experience. Okay. My question is from Lakeisha Wright. If you could cruise anywhere, where would you go? What's your favorite cruise ship? Do y'all ever buy travel insurance? Yes. Any advice on excursions in San Juan, uh, La been. Romania, Dominican Republic, Grand Turk, and St. Thomas? Haven't been there. Haven't been to those ports yet. We are going on those ports when we cruise the Mardi Gras in 2020. That is our itinerary. Um, it is uh, San Juan, Amber Cove, Dominican Republic, Grand Turk, and there's one, I think, St. Thomas, too. So we will be doing research on those um, ports, but we have not been there yet. If anybody that's watching this video has good um, suggestions, leave them down in the comments for her. Uh, as far as if we could cruise anywhere, where would we go? We're kind of hitting all the bullet like points. Like a Scandinavian cruise or yeah. like, a, like a Hawaiian cruise we heard was really, really good. Yeah. Uh, we're got, we got Alaska coming up yeah, in we, September, so we're going to check that off the list. That's mm -hmm. That was on the list, but we're going to uh, be able to go there. Um, those are two for sure that I'd like to go see. Yeah, we're hoping Hawaii in the next couple of years. Um, if we do it, we're going to definitely do Pride of America. So expensive. Which it's Norwegian ship. And the reason we chose that, it's not because it's Norwegian. We chose it because it's the only cruise ship that actually circles all of the islands. So you fly to Honolulu, get on the ship, and then you get to see four islands in seven days. So that's, we, we'll do that. We just don't know when. I've talked to people that's done it and they said it was their favorite cruise. And yeah. they've been like on a hundred. I mean, they've seasoned vets at cruising. Yeah. And they were like, that was absolutely stunning and beautiful. Yeah, so that's that's The weather's that's really good. You know, mm -hmm. it's just everything kind of works. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next question is from, okay, next question is from Wayne Montano. When will you post footage from your Disney cruise? Soon. Very soon. As soon as the breakaway videos finish, the Disney Wonder videos will start. Each, second part of the question, we're looking forward to watching those ones. 
uh, as we're heading on ours in June. Well, cool deal. Congratulations. Um, you guys are going to have fun. They're, Disney does everything first class, and it's one of the cleanest ships we've ever done. Oh, my on. gosh, yes. I, we can um, definitely say I think they said they're going to Disney Fantasy, on the Disney Fantasy. Okay, that's one of the um, big ones. And then, plus Walt Disney World. Fun trip. Yes, indeed. Yes. So, you guys are going to just have a ball. Yeah, absolutely. I tell you one thing that... Um, sailing on the smaller Disney ships makes you want to sail on the bigger Disney ships. So we were on the Wonder, which is one of the two smaller ships, and we were, you know, we were talking to other passengers that have been on the Dream or the Fantasy, and they're like, yeah, you definitely need to do the big ones. And we were in, in Nassau with the Dream, and, and so you could be see the side by side. Yeah, and all the cool. cast members was were coming out on the top that deck to so see the Dream nice. coming in because it's such a rarity to have the two Disney ships at the same port at the same time yeah according to all the cast members it's a yeah. rarity so everybody was up there man just checking it out it was a spectacle to see yeah it was cool and that was uh, really cool. the dream was uh pretty good size bigger mm -hmm. and uh it looked beautiful but there's so many similarities too mm -hmm. yeah yeah so those videos are coming up very soon mm -hmm. all right uh this is my last question that oh, was my last one that was your last one okay so this is the last question of this uh, Q and A series. It's from Jeff Geyer. Uh, part What's up, Jeff? part one of Jeff's question is: There some kind of secret to getting faster to the fun in Carnival? I keep checking in excursions, but it never gets listed. No, unfortunately, there is no secret. It's just a matter if you really want faster to the fun, check maybe once a week, um, and it is going to be in the excursions for your port of call that you sail from, and. You just have to check back for it. I know that the initial opening varies. It can be nine months out, it can be six months out, it can be more than that. And then once, I think they see how many platinum and diamond sailings, sailors they're gonna have, then they will decide if they're gonna open it up more because it is a limited capacity. All I can say is just keep checking back. Yeah. There is no magic solution to that. Yeah, just keep checking back. And part two, any thoughts on Mississippi River Cruises? Um, maybe one day that would definitely be later down on the list. It would be really cool to go all the way down or up because we would start at the bottom. How's probably. that song? Though? Well, I built me a raft, then she's ready for float. My musician. Oh, Mississippi, she's calling my name. Catfish and jump in that paddle with them. Black water keep rolling on down just the same. Take it. Do you name that song? Oh, Black Water. Well, you just told me that. Song keep now. on. <laughs> I didn't want to put all that kind of pressure on. Okay. Um, I think it would be really cool to do. It's a. It's usually a one-way trip. You either go start at the bottom and go up, or you start at the top and come down. Um, we have seen the beginning of the Mississippi when we were up in Minnesota. That's where the Mississippi River starts, and then it, kind of, it it's actually pretty small up in Minnesota where we saw it, and then it gets bigger as it comes down. Maybe one day we don't eliminate any. The only way I'd take a cruise on the Mississippi is if I could sit off the back, cast my rod out, try to catch me some That would fish. be fun. That'd be pretty cool. I wonder if you can do that. I don't know, but that's the only way I'm doing it. <laughs> But thank you all so much for your questions. We have really enjoyed answering all of these questions. Absolutely, we, indeed. Uh, since this series is done, if we didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. Um, we answered as many as we could. What we did is if it was something that had been asked before, maybe we didn't answer it again. Um, but look for our next round of questions to come out because um, we definitely enjoy doing these videos. Yeah, participate. Ask us all the questions you want. There's no such thing as a dumb question. Yep. Just keep it PG-13. <laughs> and that way we can keep our it answers PG-13. It is a family PG channel, you know. <laughs> You're so funny. Happy cruising, everybody. Bye. Thank you.